It is dark. The night is illuminated but full of terror. I feel the waves. I can hear the sound of sea creatures having a feast. Will I be a feast for this silent night? Just few years ago, I was just apprentice. Now I am surrounded by enemies I did not choose. Did he send me away, because he knew the Lannisters were coming for me? How did he know? Perhaps, he figured Lord Eddard Stark's arrest had something to do with me. He could have sold me to the Lannisters, and get a good reward for it. I hope he is well. I look around me, and see none of them. If I dive into this ocean, I bet they will move on with their lives and no longer worry about me. Why have they placed this burden on me? I didn't ask for this. All because my mother had a royal client? I see her face in my dreams. She is so beautiful. Where will I go, and be free? West Eros is not safe for me. My neighbors know who I am but the Lannisters are not popular in Flea Bottom. I can't trust anyone. They will sell me to the Lannisters for a bag of coins faster than I can run. Stannis and his sexy witch want to sacrifice me to her demons. The Brotherhood without Banner betrayed me and sold me to the Red Witch to be sacrificed. The Lannisters want me dead because none of Queen Cersei's children is King Robert's. I can't row this boat to the free cities of Bravos. I will have to board a ship from King's Landing. The Lannisters think Gendry is dead. My name is now, Aryan. Ari, I wonder how she is or where she is. Probably with her family now. So brave and strong. May the gods, who saved me from the Lannisters, and Stannis, give me the courage and strength of Arya Stark of Winterfell. We shall meet again Arya, no one on this earth can kill you, no one can kill you, this, I am certain.